To begin, select your station and double click the hardware icon. The first module in this rack is a digital input 32-bit module. Double click the module to open its properties. On the general tab, you can change the module's name if you wish. Click the addresses tab. To change the module's address, first uncheck the system default checkbox. Since this is a 32-bit card, the hardware configuration editor won't let you use an address unless the next three bytes after the beginning address are free. Let's change the beginning address to 100. The module will now occupy input bytes 100, 101, 102, and 103. You should not change the process image from OB1 unless you are sure what that entails. You can find out more about process images in the help file. Click OK. The next module in this rack is a 16-bit digital output module. Double click to open its properties. You can also change the name here on the General tab if desired. Select the Addresses tab. Uncheck the System Default box. And we will change this address to 104. Since this module is 16 bits or 2 bytes, it will occupy the input bytes 104 and 105. Click OK. The next module in the rack is a digital 8-bit input, 8-bit output module. Double click to open its properties. As with the other digital cards, you can change the name here on the general tab. Select the addresses tab. Uncheck system default for the input address. We will change the input address to 106. Uncheck system default for the output card. We will change the output address to 106. So this card will occupy input byte 106 and output byte 106. Click OK. Parameterizing analog modules will be covered in a separate video. After changes have been made in the hardware configuration, be sure to save and compile and then download to the PLC. This concludes the video on parameterizing digital modules in the hardware configuration.